goal is to have an agreement in place that when the right moment is, uh, is presents itself, and that may be tied to Gaza, maybe not, uh, that we have an agreement that cha- that is not exactly the same as what happened in 2006. The agreement in 2006 was it ended the war, gave us 18 years of no conflict, which is a long time, and gave us a UN Security Council resolution known as 1701 that required both sides to do things that neither side really is able to do uh, in the current context and neither in 2006 nor today. So we have to have some agreement in place that will force the sides into a slightly different posture that will create the environment that will allow for 1701 to be fully implemented. So whatever resolution comes to, we will have to have an agreement that is towards implementation of 1701 in a manner that both sides can actually implement and where they would take steps now that would be meaningful, even if they're not fully 1701, meaningful enough to achieve the most important goal, which is cessation of fire and for Israelis to be able to go back to their homes in the north with security, meaning not to October 6th status quo, and the same for Lebanese people to return back to the south and redevelop economically in the south, not on the premise of October 6th, but a new reality on the ground. So we have to have a broad international package that supports the Lebanese armed forces and the Lebanese economy. If we don't do those two, whatever we do will fall apart in the near future after this deal is reached. And lastly, it's about the merit, the, the land boundary. I think this will be the moment. It has to be part of the package. Does it mean that we can do all of it uh, right away? No, but I think that there is enough that we have been able to address Uh, that says to me that we have a roadmap to get there.